All right, guys, I just want to show you a quick video. You know, I'm a big fan of OrideGR. I've been using it for two years now, and they just came up with a free update that is so cool. Plus, they have a mega package where you can get Aurora at the lowest price ever, including 119 skies. Let me show you. I want to show you in this video on how you can do HDR with one single image. So here I have a beautiful photo from Zion National Park. I remember hiking a lot to get to this view. I'm going to lower the highlights. I'm just going to do my blacks, holding the Option key to make sure I got some good blacks there. You know, Remember that when you hold down the Option key in Lightroom, anything which is black here is 100% black. I'm going to put up the shadows a little bit. And I'm going to do my white point. Uh, you know, I just want to do some basic, basic retouching there. Uh, maybe make the sky a little more blue or warm. Add a bit of magenta. Basically, that's that. I think I'm going to lower the highlights even more. And I want to, you know, really make this photo pop. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Export Aurora HDR 2018 use dot tiff with lightroom adjuster what that means is that it's going to take into account all i've done in lightroom and bring it over to aurora hdr and that's what I i'm about to show you so here i am it says hdr image will be made from this so it's not a bracketing it's just one image i'm just going to click on create hdr and that's going to open uh the uh photo in aurora hdr now the update that I've done is that the whole software is way faster, a lot faster to process. Everything is much faster. So here I have uh, the photo that's already open. You can already see what it did before and after. By default, I use the Search Remedy preset because they are my presets. So you can I advise you to go to the Search Remedy preset. You just click here. On this one, I'm just going to use like uh, Photo Search Basic, um, or let me see Photo Search Cloud. I'm just going to go like to that. The, basic or maybe bright or no, bright is too much i think i'm just going to go to basic and then you can always you know change a few things like uh, the highlight is kind of i'm going to bring down the highlights i think it's kind of strong but really what i want to do is i want to combine different presets and that's what i want to show you in this video so i'm going to go here i'm going to click on plus and i'm going to say make a new adjustment layer okay and on this one i'm just going to go to my photo search local details now, when I click on Photo Search Local Details, you see it makes a lot of details on the rocks. Now, I like what it does on the rocks. I don't like what it does on the sky. So, what I can do is I can take a little brush. I click on Brush here. And by default, as I'm painting, you see right now the effect is being applied everywhere. But as soon as I'm going to start painting, it's going to create a white mask. Oh, sorry, a black mask. And black conceals white reveals. And as I brush, I'm bringing that detail effect just where I want it okay so I just want to bring more details on the rocks here maybe it looks like I'm not doing much but I am I am doing so check it out uh, before after okay yeah a lot more details so now I just I don't like the sky I want to see if I can do something about the sky so you know what let's just go and go to uh, plus new adjustment layer and this time I think I want to go to the photo search sunset look and now the uh, the look is going to be applied everywhere, and I kind of like that. Uh, yeah, that's much better. But I think it's a little too strong here on the sky. So again, I can take a brush, and 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 this time I want to go to erase, and I don't want to erase it completely. So I'm going to make my size big, like this, and I'm getting my opacity very low. I just want to erase a little bit of the la of that layer of the sky. It's a little too strong to me. You know, I just don't want it too strong. Voila, I like what it does, but not too much. So you see it created a little mask here, which is white and a bit of gray on top. Let's see if we can see the before. That's the before. And that's the after. Okay, pretty cool. I, I like that. You see, so uh, we came from this, and this is where we are. I can go on Apply. And it's going to apply this and bring it back into Lightroom. Okay, I'm back into Lightroom. And uh, what I like to do is add just a bit of contrast. Maybe just lower a little bit of vibrant so it's not like too HDRE. Maybe do a little minus clarity so it's a little softer. Uh, also, uh, I, I want to get rid of that. So that's pretty easy. If you go to uh, the lens correction and unabal profile correction, on this one it lost which lens. So I can just go to Sony, I know, and boom. You see, it got almost rid of that. So that's kind of cool. Well, before... And after. Okay, one more example because 
Right now, there's a special offer. If you get Aura HDR, they will give you 119 skies for free. So let me show you how to use that. I shot this in Montmartre about a month ago. Beautiful air of Paris. And I just want to do a little bit of magic in, in Lightroom. I'm going to open up the shadows. I'm going to do my white point. I totally underexposed that photo. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to bring down the, I'm going to make the whole photo a little brighter. Voila. And also, I want to go to uh, lens correction, on about profile correction, and I want to make the, uh, um, I want to click on auto to make it straight, okay? And I want to give it, you know, a special look in Aurora HDR. So uh, maybe add a bit of more contrast here. So I'm going to right click, export, and I'm going to go to same option than before, use .tiff with Lightroom Adjuster. Idea, we're only doing an HDR on a single RAW file, which is the whole idea of this video. It's here, and so uh, on this one, I can just use a preset. Again, remember, could go to category, search remedy preset. I'm going to go, for example, on photo search basic. I like already what it does. You see before and after, it just makes you know the whole thing pop, but I wanna change the sky. Well, there's this amazing option. You can go here, plus, new image layer and then on this one this is some of the 119 skies you can get and i you can see here the preview i think i just want to add a bit of skies here uh, a bit of clouds here uh just a little bit so let me take maybe this one you know something like this some very warm uh clouds okay i like that and now i'm going to put this into multiply mode boom I'm going to take a little brush, okay, a little brush, and I'm going to go to erase, okay, because I want to erase uh, some of this effect here, and actually I'm going to make my brush bigger, and I, you know, I just want to erase, you know, on the buildings here, uh, you know, it's also going to make like a bit of a dodge and burn effect. And it just adds the sky, it blends the sky, just like we would do in Photoshop here. But you don't have to have Photoshop, you can just do it in Aurora. And I can lower the opacity to make it a little more natural. But check this out, before the skies, after the sky. After the sky. Pretty cool. And uh, voila, I can do some more adjustment. You know, even on my uh, basic uh, adjustment, I can change the white balance. I think, uh, let me see here, I can go back here, maybe add a bit more blue. Uh, I can add some HDR on hands. You know, I can add some, I mean, it's, what you can do with Aura is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and, and re-add that layer. And, and voila, and you know, you can even go, you know, continue and add now a new adjustment layer on top of it, you know, and maybe, um, Okay, I can go here and go to photo search local details. I really like this one for, to add more detail. Take a brush. Okay, and on this one, like I, I, I'm I, gonna go to paint and as soon as I'm gonna paint, everything else is gonna, this whole effect is gonna go away except where I'm painting. And I maybe just wanna add a bit of details here on on the, on this cafe and on, on the on the floor here. You know, and if you think it's too much, you can just lower the effect. It might be a little bit too much. I never add details on your roll photo, you know, never. Okay, and I can go, and you can just go on forever. You know, I can go add a new adjustment layer. This time I'm gonna take photo search sunset look to add a sunset look everywhere. Okay, it doesn't work where it's too strong. Well, I can just lower the opacity or I can just erase in this case, I don't like it. So I'm just gonna click on minus and erase the effect. And I'm probably gonna stop here and I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna click on apply. Okay, so it's back into Lightroom. And now I can just, you know, I like to do like a little bit of double exposure. I'm gonna maybe open the shadows, bring down some of the highlights, add a bit of contrast, you know, make it brighter. Or some, and just maybe add a bit more blue you know, something like this, maybe a little minus clarity to just soften the whole thing. Uh, but you know, you get the idea. That's th that's the final result that I got. You know, I got a little bit of sky there. It's kind of cool. And this is the original photo from Lightroom. So so check out the, the offer. The offer is below and it ends on the 4th of July. You can get the software 
plus 119 dramatic romantic sky overlay, a whole tutorial by my good friend Trey Radcliffe, and the software for 99. But if you click on buy now, I give you a little trick. If you add the code photo surge here, the coupon code photo surge, which is my company, you can get an extra $10 off. So apply photo search, it goes from $89 to $10. So that means for $89, you're getting all there in 119 skies and the software. It's the best HDR software that's out there. Check it out. The link and the promotion is below this video. Uh, amazing. Aurora HDR is truly the software that I use on a daily basis. In fact, my new Los Angeles books that just came out, the cover was made using Aurora HDR. So check it out. It's a really cool software. And it's a great time if you want to buy it now is perfect timing because you can get it at a very low price. Check it out.